and welcome to music theory grade one this is Kerry Mason I am your instructor for these series of videos these videos are brought to you compliments of fun music workshop we're located in Welch's St. Michael Barbados and we offer music theory and as well as musical instruments to children and adults this series is based on the Associated Board of the Royal School of Music Curriculum for Grade 1 Music Theory. Uh, this is our first lesson. We're going to be looking today at notes and time values. Now, notes are symbols which represent rhythm as well as time as well as pitch. So whenever you are playing music or you're reading music, those are the symbols that you're going to use. All right now there are different types of notes which represent different time values for each note and we're going to go into them one by one now the first note that we're going to look at is this note this note is shaped like an oval or an egg and is referred to as a semibreed it is also referred to as a whole note now the fractional names are the American name and the semibrieve is the English name. Now a semibrieve or a whole note, and we're going to explain the fractional names, the reason why the Americans use the fractional names, we're going to get to that in a minute, is worth four beats. Now all music is made up of rhythm. A rhythm are patterns of beats that make up which are the building blocks of music. And so whenever you're playing a piece, you're counting one, two, three, whatever, that is the use. These here will tell you how many beats are, are being used in a particular rhythm pattern. And so for this one, a semi-brief is worth four beats. And by four beats, you when you see one of these, you count four. One, two, three, four. All right? Okay. Tap it and tap four. One, two, three, four. The next note that we're going to look at is called the minim. It looks just like a semi brief, but it has a stem going pointed upwards. And you can also write them upside down, and it looks like this on the on the left hand side, upside down. And we're not going to focus on that just yet. All right. The minim is also referred to as a half note and if you are mathematically inclined half of a whole half of four is two so a minimum is worth two beats so you clap a minimum you clap one two all right and let me just show you the relationship between each note obviously because there are two of these make four um, one of these Two minims makes one semi brief. Okay. Uh, let's go on. This next one here is called a crotchet. It looks just like a minim, but it's shaded. The head is shaded. All right. This part here down here are called note heads. All right. C R H C R O T C H E T. And it's also referred to as a quarter note. Note here. Now a quarter note is half of about half, so half of two is one. So again, a quarter is worth one beat, so one. Okay? And then I'm gonna give you one more. There are many, there are many more notes than these, but we're just gonna focus on these four for um, there's another one that we're gonna look at later down in the in the course. This one has a tail or a flag at the end, just just like a looks just like a project. It has a tail or a flag at the end and it's called a quaver. And the American name is in an eighth note. T I G H T, eighth note. All right. And each one is half of the value of the one before it. So therefore, this one will be one half of a beat. All right. So therefore, we're going to, and again, I'm going to show you the. the relationship between these notes as far as type is concerned all right so i will deal with that in the next segment 
All right, now, as I said, each of these notes have a relationship between them rhythmically. All right, so I'm going to put a whole note here. Right, remember the whole note is worth four beats. All right, one, two, three, four. As I said, a whole note or semi breathe. Two of these minims or half notes, two halves make a whole. All right, remember these are two beats. So two minims make a semi breathe. And then we have one of these being made up of two quartets or two quarter notes. All right, four quarters make a half. All right, remember that each of these. Each is one beat. So therefore, two minims make a semi breathe, or four quartets make a semi breathe, or two quartets will make a minim. All right? If we go a little further, and I'm gonna, one quartet is made up of two, can be divided into two quavers, or two eighth notes. The Americans use the fractional names because it's easier to recognize and decipher them uh, mathematically using fractions. All right. So they will say two eighth notes makes a quarter note. All right. And therefore, eight of these make one of these. All right. There, uh, four eighth notes will make a half note, or four quavers will make a minute. Okay, and remember each of each one of these is half of a beat. All right. So if you were to if I had some folks clapping together, I would show them how to clap them all together. This is one, two, three, four. This would be one, two, one, two. This would be one, 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 one. And this would be one and one and one and one and. All right. All of them make up. All of them will add up to four beats because of the relationship between the notes. So these are the time values of each note, and these are the this is the relationship between each note. Now in the exam, they're going to ask you a question. For example, how many quartets make a semi brief or how many quavers make a minim? And that you need to know. Um, and this is a way you can put this down so you can figure out how. The notes are related um, as far as time value is concerned. Our next lesson will be focusing on time signatures and bar lines, which where we use these time, these notes now in a rhythm pattern and show you how to actually use them um, to 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 decipher rhythms.